like to welcome you to the Heritage 08 concert. And this is the, this is the first in hopefully a succession of concerts to celebrate black music and black gospel music. And this, this, this is a night that we hope that you come here and you have a lot of fun. You sing and clap and you enjoy the people that are here. Uh, my name is Reverend Dr. Nora Jones. I am the pastor of Samaritan United Methodist Church located in the Central West End. Um, we want to anoint this concert with the, with the power of God on high. So would you, would you join and pray with me right now at this moment? Most gracious God and Heavenly Father, we come this day thanking you and worshiping you for all the glorious blessings that you have showered down upon our life, God. God, you shower us with your love and your presence. And to show that love back to you, God, we lift our voice this night in song. God, anoint the singers, anoint the band, anoint the ears that listen to this music so that we would know that God is in this place and God is in the blessing and in the praise business. God, I thank you for what you're about to do here at this time. And I thank you for all that you do in all of our lives each and every day. In Jesus' most gracious name, let the house say amen. i like to introduce to you to you, the MC of the program, Mr. Calvin. It's good evening to all God's soldiers, saints, Christian believers, and all anointed children of God, those certified by Jesus Christ, approved by the Holy Ghost, and okay by God Almighty. As God is love, and love woke me up this morning. If the Lord woke you up this morning, stand on your feet and give him a hand. Praise, please. Hallelujah. All right. My name is Calvin King, former program director for Gospel 1600, the number one station in the city of St. Louis. And we'd like to welcome you to Heritage 2008. This evening you will be entertained. You will be taking a journey. And that journey will start from the beginning of gospel music to the present day gospel music. And it will all be happening tonight on this program. So without further ado, please put your hands together for Heritage 2008. journey. We're going to take a journey for gospel music from its beginnings until the present day. As you may know, gospel music started 
uh, when slaves got together to communicate with one another. These slaves came from the west coast of Africa. Most of, them, most of the slaves did. And they began, far as gospel music is concerned, communicating through spirituals. And to represent those spirituals, please put your hands together for Jessica Gladney.
Welcome, June Dabney. Good evening. I'm being accompanied by Stephanie. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am so tired, I am weak, I am Jesus is my poor 
Catholic, uh, non-denominational Church of God, Church of God in Christ. All right.
somebody call the church police and lock me up in heaven. All right, now, hey. And as we move the program along, please keep your hands together for Shakira Kozar. everybody doing? How many of us know that it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Mexican, or Chinese, but how many of us know that we're in a desperate need for a stirring up in the spirit? See, we sang a song earlier. They sang a song that said, we shall overcome. How many of us know we can't truly overcome until we be stirred up in the spirit of God so that we can be loved, 
so that we can be what God is desiring for us to be. Amen. I want everyone to repeat after me because, see, we need to break the ice just a little bit. I want y'all to repeat after me if you know it's the truth. I want you to re repeat after me and say, stir up my spirit, Lord. Listen. Now, there may be times in our life in which we may experience a spiritual low. Situations that we find hard to deal with. When it's hard to say these words, y'all, I'll go. I go through the storms and the rains, the trials and tribulations and never ending pains. Hey y'all, there may be times in which we may think the Lord has done us wrong, but see the devil, he is alive, for God has never left us alone. Yeah, I know the night times can get weary and things get hard, and bad, we may seem like we won't want to jump overboard, but that's when we need to lift them hands and give them praise and say within ourselves, Stir up my spirit, Lord. Stir it up in this way. I may be going through, but it still turns out to be a nice day. I might even be in the nighttime, but I got peace and joy on my mind. Come on, man. There might be a murder over there, robber over here, but it says in this word that God has not given us the spirit of fear. See, I'm here as a witness on tonight to encourage you all and myself. Many a times to receive the Lord's many blessings, everyone else might be going right, but hey, me and you might have to make a laugh. See, it's easy to talk about what we're going through, but it's not as easy to talk about the type of lives that we live in. Everybody nowadays loves receiving, but it's a different type of story when it comes to giving. And see, I look at it like this, y'all. I know trials are gonna come, things come up, Hey, I may even have a bad day, but if you praise them when you don't want to praise them, lift them hands when you don't feel like it. If you serve the same God that I serve, then we all know the Lord will make a way. So instead of being down in spirit, we need to have a word and let the world hear it. Instead of being low, we need to be high. Yeah, we going through too, but we can sit back and watch our problems flow by. Cause we're on a battlefield, y'all, and it ain't nobody mad but the devil. But with God, we're more than conquerors. So he already know he's defeated on any and every level. Now, I right, man. Y'all ready to bless him? We just gonna get up a little higher. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to say, stir up my spirit, Lord. Come on, say it again with me. Say, stir up my spirit. stir up your spirit. I hope so far on this journey we've taken with uh, Heritage 2008 that your spirit has been stirred up. I would like to introduce a young lady who's been in California and when she came back home to St. Louis that was the first person I was able to hire and keep here. She called herself the first lady of Gospel 1600. I was so proud of her. I was so glad that she came back to St. Louis and stayed and helped make Gospel 1600 what it was. Please put your hands together for Lynn Woods. Calvin King and I were talking about Mother Willie Mae Ford Smith and that she was featured in that documentary slash film, Say Amen Somebody. And in that film they showed how she worked with Thomas A. Dorsey, who is called the father of gospel music, in making this into an industry before them, before Thomas A. Dorsey and Mother Willie Mae Ford Smith got together and Sally Martin. It was just people going from church to church, singing their songs, but there was no connection to it where you couldn't share songs and necessarily share songs from the East Coast to the West Coast. So what they did was put it in sheet music form and took it all around the nation and sold it. 
and Mother Willie Mae Ford Smith and Thomas A. Dorsey would travel back and forth between St. Louis and Chicago, along with Sally Martin, creating what we call the music industry today. So that's my little blip in gospel history for you this evening. Thank you. Choices. If I can't do what I want to do, then my job is to not do what I don't want to do. You see, it's not the same thing, but it is the best that I can do. Choices. If I can't have what I want, then my job is to want what I've got and to be satisfied that at least there's something more to want. Choices. Since I can't go where I need to go, then I must go where the signs point, though always understanding that parallel movement isn't lateral. Choices. When I can't express what I really feel, I practice feeling what I can express, and none of it is equal, I know, but that's why mankind alone amongst the animals learns to cry. Choices. Nikki Giovanni, thank you. This next piece that I'm about to do is uh, inspired uh, by um, something happened that's happened in the news as long ago as 2005, but it's still, the, the resonation of it is still you know, in place. This piece is called Poor Nola, and it's uh, dedicated to the city of New Orleans, and it's also dedicated to the spirit of someone in this room like myself, or maybe a few of you catching the fire, taking a trip down to the bayou and go look at what happened and recognize that we too live in a river city. We're not that far from the water, so pay attention as the years unfurl. This was called Port Nola, an original by my son and I. She was devout to some sorry saints, even though they never have and ain't ever gonna win that Super Bowl she's hosted so many times before. And every year around Thanksgiving or so, now I'm not a grambling man, but I would bet that she was for you, by you, Nola. Poor Nola. She was one quarter French, so they called her Creole. She had gotten a little old, but she was still so beautiful. She had Indians, Olympians, Zulus, and all types of crews courting her affections, throwing candy and treats in all directions, when at once Canal Street became a prophecy, and without warning, a metro catastrophe, a pilot for abandonment TV, or a sitcom where they laugh at we, for having so much loyalty to these Republican royalty. This plantation of a nation, this strange and peculiar urban manifestation of youthful vulgar conjuration and abomination integration, this wicked tale of subjugation of the builders of this so-called mighty republic by this hyper-hypocritical government that was so busy occupying the scapegoats oil fields that they left behind the ones who drill for liquid black gold in the Gulf of Mexico, left the mothers and fathers of jazz to drown in their sorrows. But she'll be back. she'll be back and I'll be there to sing one of those new verses play a new chord 
the truth can't be ignored. We are mighty and powerful people. And just like Nola, we'll be back. Thank you. Matu and Kinnaman Bettas, father and son. All right. A spoken word, poetry.